Hello everybody, welcome to the Hacienda again. Rivet here. Today we're going to make something from Mississippi. Yes, the Mississippi Slug Burger. Uh, the Slug Burger is a Depression era hamburger uh, which was invented in the Corinth Tishomingo area of northern Mississippi. Uh, it became famous uh, during the Depression uh, because they were sold for a nickel. And back then, the nickname for a nickel was a slug, hence the name Slug Burger. Uh, it is featured in John T. Edge's book, Hamburgers and Fries, which is a history of the hamburger. And he demonstrates in the book that it, how regional uh, hamburgers are in the states. Every little area has their own version of a burger. Excellent book. Mrs. Rivet bought it for me several years ago. It's just an easy read and there's recipes in there. So uh, the slug burger, one of the hallmarks besides being deep fried, is uh, it was stretched. The meat was cheap burger and I got 80-20 here. It was stretched with potato flakes and potato flour. Um, that's the hallmark of the slug burger. Now, um, I'm not going to stretch it with potato flakes or potato flour. I'm going to do what Chef John did from foodwishes.com. Uh, he used potato bread, uh, and I'm going to do that too. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, I got six slices of potato bread. Uh, you can see I cut the cr crust off. We're going to put it in a 180 degree Fahrenheit oven for about uh, oh, 40 minutes or so to dry it out. Alright, 40 minutes in, uh, the bread's kind of dry, which is perfect. So now we're going to stick it in the uh, food processor to turn it into a uh, crumb-like te uh, texture. Here we got our pound of uh, ground beef and I pulsed uh, in the food processor the bread into pieces like this. You could probably use your hands but um, you know that, that seems like a lot of work. Now uh, it seems like a lot of breadcrumbs and it is but remember this is depression era uh, food and uh, they stretched it and so we're also going to add one tablespoon uh, black pepper and one tablespoon salt. Now let's get our hands in there and mix it together. Okay, I got uh, five patties out of that uh, mixture. Uh, they're probably a little bit bigger and thicker than they were in the depression, but who cares? Let's go ahead and fry them up. All right, let's get a slug burger going. And what I have here is uh, just canola oil. All right, I've just turned it over, and uh, you can see the signature brown crust. Uh, typically, it's deep fried in a deep fat fryer, but I'm not going to do all that. So this is close enough. And I've turned it over twice uh, to make sure it gets that nice crispy crust, which is a signature of a slug burger. All right, here we go. Dripping hot. I'm sure you can hear the hot oil sizzling. There is the slug burger. All right, traditionally served with just mustard and pickles, sometimes with onions, sometimes without. Uh, we'll do without. Let's go ahead and try it. I'm sure it's hot. Mmm. Uh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Very crunchy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Steaming hot. But you know what? With all that pepper in there and salt and pickle, yeah, that's pretty good. Now I had my doubts initially, I'll be honest with you, because who likes stretched meatloaf, right? And essentially this is it, but the crusty coating on the outside takes us to the next level, and of course, just with mustard, what's there not to like? I, I love yellow mustard, okay, so yeah, that's good. Mmm. Um, yeah, 
potato bread is the way to go. Um, beets potato flakes. I'm sure they'd be gummy. And um, nowadays they use uh, soybean flour, which is yuck in my book. Okay, so I'm glad I got five patties out of that. I'll be taking some to work for lunches. That's good stuff, people. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll make them again. Very strange way to cook a burger, but I'm all in. The Mississippi Slug Burger. Thanks for watching. Take care.